Hi students, this is our first lesson from unit seven and it is called rows and columns. This is a little introduction to arrays and multiplication as well. So I'm really excited to get started on teaching you these new concepts. So a couple of the words that we're going to talk about today is array. We also have the vocabulary word row and column or columns. Okay, so just so you guys know, this entire thing right here is called an array. An array shows us a combination of rows and columns. This right here is our row and this right here is a column. All right, so now we have a new array. An array is a connection with um, rows and columns. So I'd like for us on this example here to look at these rows. We can see that we have three rows and in each row we have four stars. So there's four, four, and four. Here we have three groups of four in each group. Let's go back and look at that same array, but looking at now as columns. We have a column here, a column here, here, and here. And so even though it's in columns, we have now four columns, one, two, three, four, and within each column, there's one, two, three stars. So now we have the same array, but in this case, we're now looking at it as four groups with three in each of those groups. So now I've combined both images and we can see that we have the four columns of three and three rows of four. Both in the same array, but it's organized as different patterns. So now when we take the numbers, here were the rows of four. We had three rows of four, and when we add those up, the three rows of four, we get 12. Now let's check the same for the columns of three. We had four columns of three. So three and three is six. Three and three is six. That two equals 12. So as you can see, no matter which way we organize it, they both have the sum of 12. So in our array, we could see that we had 12 stars. So now let's look at this array. I would like you to think of two ways that we can look at this array using one with columns and one with rows. So think about this now and on a separate sheet of paper, write down how many are in each column and how many, how many are in each row and how many rows. All right. So now that we've had some time, I want you to look at here again is our row. Here again is a row. And so we have two rows or two groups of five. Two groups of five. There's five here and five here. Now let's think about it in a different way. We also have columns. And remember that they have to be equal in our rows and our columns. So in purple, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five groups of two in each group. Okay, so we can quickly look at this and we can see that there are 10 total dots. 
Now, when I'm looking at this, I also can think of arrays in ways that I've seen it before. And if I look at it this way, I've seen this pattern so many times. And we can look around us in our world and think about other times that we've seen arrays. Can anybody guess what this represents right here? That's right, this right here, it's a 10 frame. So I remember from looking at this array before I even drew around in red, Oh my gosh, that looks very much like a 10 frame. So now as you guys have known, oh, now that you guys have learned about arrays, look around your house, look around the world and have a math scavenger hunt. Try to find arrays in the real world. Thanks for listening.